My name is Amit. And my name is Chong Ji Hin. We are from SMK Srivindar Slatai Kuala Lumpur. Okay, today our experiment will be using one can of 100 plus filled with 100 plus and one piece of chewing gum. As you can see, this 100 plus can is still new, it is unopened yet. First of all, we're gonna shape the chewing gum into a sharp structure. Then, my friend Ahmed will hit it on the chewing gum. And you see the magic. Okay, as you can see, it is already in a sharp shape. Okay, first, you see when I you see the difference when what I'll do in a slow way. See? It bends. So you will see the difference when I will do it in a faster motion. Alright? We'll make this thing back into a sharp shape, sharp shape and we'll try it back in a fast motion. Make sure we aim it properly. Aim it on the bottom flat, eh, bottom cap. Oh, it needs one more try. As you can see, it's already bent, but it needs another try. has gone through the thin of this 100 plus can. Okay, are you guys curious on what happened just now? Okay, here's the thing. The thing is, this chewing gum is a non-Newtonian uh, substance which, uh, which has a gum which enables when greater force is applied on it, it enables it to maintain, the shape. maintain its shape and goes through this 100 plus can. Okay? So therefore, that's what happened. That's what now. happened. That just now, which penetrate the bottle, the hundred plus cap, and open the hundred plus. This action applies on the daily life, which is you know the bulletproof vest that wear by the policeman. As the bullet uh, as the bullet shoot through the vest, it will penetrate. It, the bullet will stop by the fiber. It's because. The fiber acts like a chewing gum and the bullet acts like the 100 plus. That's caused the fiber to protect the humans, uh, protect the police from, from being shot by the bullets. From getting shot? Yeah, from, yeah, from getting shot by the bullets. Okay, for our next experiment, we're gonna use some, str uh, some strings, uh, a glass bottle, a bottle of alcohol, a beaker, and an ice cold water pack. Okay, so in this experiment, I am going to cut this bo well, glass bottle into a shape of a cup. You know we can decorate this one so that we can use at home as like example for a cup. Okay, so first of all, we're going to cut this string into this circumference of this bottle. Okay, so we're going to tie this into, into a neat shape so that we're able to soak it inside this alcohol. Okay. So now, I'm going to pour some alcohol inside the beaker so that you can soak the string. We don't have to put too much because we don't, we're just going to soak it. So if we put too much, it might waste it. Alright? Okay. So we're going to take this one out of the bottle, glass bottle and soak it inside the alcohol. Make sure you soak it properly so that it enables it to work during the experiment. Alright. Don't try this at home, it might be dangerous. Yes. Because it's flammable. And make sure someone is around you when you're doing this experiment. An adult or your parents. Okay. After soaking in it, we'll fix it back onto this glass, glass bottle.
After that, we make sure to wash your hand first before doing the experiment because it's going to deal with pipe. Without washing, it may cause your hand to flame, so it's a bit dangerous for you to do it. Alright? Okay. Then, I'm going to light up the string with the matches. Okay, when we fire up this uh, fire, the fire, this thing, we make sure we turn it around so that it has an equal amount of heat everywhere. Alright? We make sure to be careful when dealing with fire because it may be highly flammable and dangerous, especially under age people. As we said, do not do this if nobody is aware you are doing the experiment and make sure there is a doubt near you. Wait until all the fire is fully burned. Then only we could start our own experiment. As you can see, there is still a bit more fire. Okay. Okay. Now the fire is out. We're going to place this straight inside this what what cold water bath. Yeah. As you see, we have made this cup into a, in this glass bottle into a shape of a cup as I said make sure it is neatly so that we will get a beautiful result okay this is how actually it's happened before you lighting up the string the pressure inside the glass is low as the as we light up the string the pressure inside is high because because the heat that change the pressure inside as we put inside as we put inside the water ice ice water bath the ice what the water inside it change the pressure of the glass uh, immediately from low to uh, high to low which causes the particles inside the glass for the glass water change uh, vibrate uh, change shape immediately it change its uh, state change its state immediately and causes the glass to break from contraction into extraction, immediate extraction, yeah. which causes to break. Okay, so after the experiment, you're going to use two retort stand, one laser pointer, one stream filled with distilled water, one stream filled with aquarium water, and one filled with uh, soil, soil water. water. Yeah. So, first of all, we're going to put this as usual, so that you're able to see what's happening in the water. As you can see, there's three different colors of the soil water we have right one two and three okay so now we are going to observe what is inside this water actually okay so after all this time we didn't know what we can see from here but now we're really going to see and observe what is in the water okay so first we will start with uh, this water. water all right Okay, make sure there's a droplet of water down there so that we can observe this with the laser. Alright? Alright, okay. There will be a droplet of water there. Okay. Droplet yes. of water and you will see what? Okay, yeah. as you can see, this laser is a strong laser so that it, um, it helps us to see the droplets. But it might be dangerous if you point on people's eyes. So, so be careful with the laser. Alright. Okay. Okay, first we're going to have to turn off the lights and watch and observe. Okay, we're going to adjust this and point this to the water droplet so that we can observe what is in the water. As you can see, this is what we have inside this distilled water. There are a lot of inside our things inside our water. So, so let's see the difference between with the aquarium water. 
as you imagine, even though you see it's like clear or something, but there is still something inside. inside. Okay, okay, let's try okay. our pond. Next, we will aquarium. use another aquarium water. Yes. Okay, so this is our second water, which is aquarium water. Okay, we'll just focus this towards the syringe droplets. As you can see, there is more suspended particles in this one rather than the distilled water just now. Okay? There are a lot of distilled water and the particle, particles are moving fast, really fast, so it's hard to observe. Alright, All as you can see, there is more suspended particles in aquarium water than in the distilled water. Distil water, yes. Okay. Can you see it moves so rapidly, very fast. See? It's moving very fast. Okay, our third one we will try with the, with the uh, soil water. Soil water. Okay. okay. And this is our third one with the the soil soil, soil water. water. Yeah. So we will observe this. Right. As you can see, soil water we can't see much because why? Because the soil inside there, the particles are too condensed. It's unable for you to detect one by one the part of the particles inside the water. Yeah. Which means it is very dirty and compact with with a lot of particles. So it's unable for we are unable to see a clear vision of what's inside there. But still we see what the water movements, but we couldn't see clearly all the suspended particles inside. Still movement of the water, but it's too condensed. So um, you can, as you can see, there's a um, differences between these two water, um, aquarium water, and, and also soil water. water. Um, okay, now we'll go to the next experiment, which is our last experiment. Okay, in this experiment, we're going to use a laser and something to hold the laser so that we can shoot this uh, laser onto this mirror. See mirror? We stick this to a mirror. Okay, this one is a Milo can. We have to, before we use the Milo can, we have to cut both of the sides of the Milo can. This side and also this side. Okay, now this purple thing is uh, covered with a balloon. Right. And here we have a speaker. Oh, yeah, here is a speaker. This speaker is to um, amplify the sound so we can hear from here and then we see the product on this board. Okay. Alright. So let's start with our experiment. Okay, okay, so we let and let's begin. So we're gonna op my friend will open us a a video. I think In, yeah, it's yeah, a video. It's play, we play the video. Oh, and we'll see what's okay. happened. So we hope you guys, you guys like it and, and 
Thank you for, Thank you for watching and subscribe for more. Thank you.